Hey everyone, it's Deagle Beagle. So let's go over Slitherwing today. People probably think this is more of a not so great paradox Pokemon because of its typing and moves and everything. But I think it could be pretty decent if used in the right way. But it does kind of remind me of the Sandy Shocks Pokemon where you can use a move like U-Turn or Volt Switch to switch out a lot and keep harassing them and stuff. But also have decent moves if you have to stay in. Now, this Pokemon's unique because it gets a stab U-Turn and it gets some decent coverage moves. Will it be the best Protosynthesis or Paradox Pokemon? It doesn't look like it at this point. Maybe possibly later. But for right now, no. So Choice Scarf is probably the best item with it for what you want to do with it. Because it is hard to just stay in and trade hits with it like the other Pokemon. But sometimes you can. Bug is a pretty good typing offensively. Fighting's all right. Um, another way you could use it is with first impression. That's a very rare move to get because if you look at first impression, <clears throat> the Pokemon that do get it are, there's not a lot of them and there's not a lot that also get a stab one. Like you might have Haxorus, but it doesn't get stabbed. So it's a 90 power move. The main issue is that you can only use it one time until you switch out. You can only use it on the first turn, I should say. So it's pretty predictable if they especially if they know you have it. They can just protect with their Pokemon the first turn and and get rid of that priority option. But sometimes they don't have protect or you can use that one turn to really to really put them in a bad spot. To force them to have to protect or die. And then you, they can't use that Pokemon, let's say, offensively to attack you. Now, the terror types on these, you could change it to something else. I would probably use some sort of offensive one, considering how you can U-turn a lot of times to get out of a situation where you would be hit with an attack, even though you got to be careful with U-turn because they could just protect with the Pokemon you're trying to U-turn against and then hit you with the other one. So you might have to switch out manually in that case or just attack the one that you think is not going to protect. Okay, and but for this one, if you're Sash, maybe you don't need a defensive Terra because you have Sash, but Steel isn't just a defensive Terra. You can use it offensively as well. That's why I was thinking you could use a Terra type like Steel for coverage offensively and defensively against stuff like Fluttermane is weak to steel and I originally thought of steel actually mostly for the offense because I was noticing one one of the biggest issues with Slitherwing is its offensive typing uh, bug and fighting bug doesn't add a lot of coverage to fighting or vice versa so that is one of the probably the biggest drawback with it it's not that it has really bad defensive typing even though it is four times weak to flying it is really bad if if they have like town flame or something which has priority especially versus the scarf one town flame is going to be very common especially after san diego regionals when it showed it was really good i already knew it was really good i felt like it was underrated because um it's like murkrow except it has more power and it has a I mean, Murkrow does have Sucker Punch, but it doesn't have a priority Brave Bird for a turn. And it doesn't have, it just doesn't have what Talonflame does with its high speed and stuff too. I really like Talonflame. Now, but for this Pokemon, Terra Blast Steel gives it some decent coverage. You p could possibly use a different one like Ghost, but that wouldn't give you the defensive resistances. So I was just thinking... Steel probably is the best of both worlds, defensively and offensively. It resists f flying, psychic, and a few other moves. It still is weak to bug, 
but overall you're reducing a lot of your weaknesses if you use steel and then you could use booster energy with it basically the same type of one the speed I probably would use adamant with it because well on this one maybe not I'll, we'll have to see this average speed but usually if you look at the speed tiers it's not that often you'll have a Pokemon between the low 100s and like Goldango speed. So you might have, I mean, even Tyranitar is usually like not much speed EVs. And Sylveon and stuff usually is not max speed either because they need bulk. So really it's like the low 100 or even more like 90 speed around there. There's not much in between that. Besides like Pelipper and I guess Bruce Bo Brew Bonnet now uh, that you'll have to worry about. Dreadnought usually has Swift Swim. Scissor has Priority. Goth is usually not max speed. Corviknight's not used a lot. Neither are these other Pokemon. So really, besides Goldango, you might have some Rotom, but they're not usually max speed either. So... Besides like Goldango speed and 90 speed, there's not a lot between 90 and 149 unless unless they do raise their speed, but usually they don't because they feel like they need bulk. So personally, I would actually even probably put a little bit lower, but I don't know because Tauros is, where is Tauros? I need to include Tauros in here because it normally is like min speed. It's like 120 if you use Adamant. No investment. I think it's on my other speed tier list that I I was trying to copy and paste the old one. but And I got to figure out how to... Sh I wish it would just show the, the titles and of all my posts instead of people having to click older posts, older posts until they find it. Let's see if this even has it. No, it doesn't even have Tauros because I think at the time I really underestimated Tauros. And until recently when somebody recommended that I try it out again because it's one of the best intimidators, I was like, actually you're right because it resists rock or at least is not weak to it. Even if you use the fire one instead of the water one to like can rock tar and I was finding a lot of the intimidate Pokemon were not used simply because either they had defiant competitive or they had uh, like like can rock tar which had a double rock attack versus Arcanine or whatever uh, Salamence so I wasn't uh, that much of a fan of Pokemon like Gyarados that are rock weak intimidators so I normally was just using Tauros on a rain team and you saw a ton of that actually at San Diego. So it looks like they kind of agreed with what I was doing. If you were to ask him. So, so as far as the EV goes, you'll have to figure that out. I probably would use like barely above 120 personally to outspeed Tauros. Maybe. Or, or use just men. <laughs> you, oh, but... I mean, I actually would use a little bit more than 105 to outspeed Ndidi. So probably somewhere like 108 or so, whatever speed creep. Or use more than Tauros. Or I guess if you want, max it. But I probably want it. Uh, but here is a few ways to use Slitherwing. I hope that helps out. Please leave me a comment on how you would use it differently if you would or how you could use it differently. Thanks for watching.